Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, July 1st, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you look at how many people there are that are incarcerated here in the United States in comparison to the other developed nations of the world, it will absolutely blow your mind. But luckily for criminals and the criminal justice system, Chiron Holden is out there taking no prisoners. After somewhat of a quiet off-season, Chiron is heading into the heart of the contest season, ready to erupt. In each of his last two seasons, he made huge strides in terms of climbing up the ranks in the men's physique division. And if that trend continues, that should put him right there in serious title contention by the time December's Olympia rolls around. Sometimes in bodybuilding, athletes are like comets in the sense that they flash really brightly for a short period of time and then boom, they just completely disappear. So if you've missed the comet that was Dobry Delev a few years ago, rumor has it that he might be about to flash again. Last weekend we heard through the grapevine that the former 212 Olympian was planning to step onto an IFBB stage for the first time in almost two years even though the exact date is still up in the air. According to our sources, Dobry sitting somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 pounds right now, and more complete overall than he was a few years ago. So if he can figure out how to grab an Olympia bid, he becomes another interesting piece to a puzzle that's getting more fascinating with each passing week. Before I put my kids to bed every night, we like to hang out in the family room and watch wildlife documentaries on Netflix. Well, at least I do. And now that we've watched the entire 72 Most Dangerous Animal series, I have one burning question for the executives at Netflix. What does Stan DeLongo have to do to earn a spot on the show? I get that Stanimal's been in hibernation for the last few months, but we all know what he's capable of when he's on the hunt. We're talking about a guy who's shown that he can be one of the most relentless predators in bodybuilding. And when this guy starts showing his teeth, it always signals danger for everyone else in the lineup. Usually when people use the expression, now the gloves are off, it means things are about to get serious. But in the case of Andre Ferguson, now that the beard is off, I guess that's his version of firing off a warning shot. A few days ago, Andre shed whatever the opposite of the playoff beard is for that smooth, streamlined, baby face killer look that we've seen throughout his entire career. According to Andre, he's bigger and more complete than he's ever been. So if the beard coming off means that things are about to get serious, I can't wait to see what he comes up with over the next five months. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.